back to Peace Sand Your Hope Sand Your Hope Designs. Today I'm gonna to be working with the Monday's free DG that I've created for you all. This one is all oh, shabby shabby chic and it's free on uh, my blog. You can get the download like you did last month last week. Last week's was this one. Here we I showed you how to create this beautiful card. And I'm gonna show you how to make another card using this digi. But I wanted to show you you can scale it up or you can scale it down. It doesn't matter. The DPIs are wonderful, the colors are rich. And on this particular image, when you print it out, it's gonna look a little shadowy or grainy or not real bad or anything. It is because I've tried this new um a new layer, a new uh Photoshop layer and I think it turned out beautiful honestly I think it just softened it enough and I uh, tinted the hair her skin and done all of the tint work in the uh, roses here now these are overlaid roses and I have overlaid five different layers and everything to bring this beautiful photo about and uh, we're going to be working with the three and a half by five and uh, I will be offering uh, the for free already measured the five by seven not the five by seven the four by six and the three and a half by five in case you don't have a program that will allow you to uh, size it down um so when you go to the download folder you will see one that says four by six and one that's three and a, uh two and a half by three and a half i swear i'll get my numbers right in it atc card size okay so we're going to be working with the ATC card to create this card, but I wanted to print this out for you and I'll show you how beautiful it is sized up or sized down. Um, and even at the 4 by 6 you can size it up to a 5 by 7 or 8 by 10 it doesn't matter. So, okay, so we're going to cut this out. <clears throat> I do apologize if my voice goes out because it probably will. Um, yesterday I was like, I woke up with like these little blisters in the back of my throat and then as the day progressed it got a little bit better um i can't i, I can't get strapped i don't think i can get strapped because i don't have consoles uh i didn't feel like it was strap throat i mean it hurts to swallow but it wasn't real bad but uh today i'm just chugged up it's just chugged up you know that's the way it is <laughs> okay so now, I pulled out a bunch of things that I wanted to play with. Uh, I've got this beautiful piece of uh, shabby pink paper. I've got uh, this piece of paper here. This was a Prima marketing uh, paper scrap that I had. Um, and then that's what I'm doing. I'm using up my scraps. And then I pulled out some of my Anna Griffin. Oh, my God. Anna Griffin. Oh, I love Anna Griffin. Oh, this woman is amazing. She is, oh, her little, next to Finnebar is Anna Griffin. Yes, next to Finnebar, there lies Anna Griffin. So, see, like, I can put a touch of blue in there. See, Anna has the most beautiful papers. I just love her. Anna, if you're watching this, please send this girl some of your papers, please. This is all I have left. So, um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful uh, papers and stuff. Also, going to be using some wonderful laces from creativedetailstore.com. Look at this one. Yummy, 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 yummy. Um, I pulled out just a bunch of different things. You know, I pull out things that I think I might use and things I might not use. Don't know yet. I just don't know yet. Depends on what I want to do. So, uh, the first thing I want to do, uh, hmm. How do I want, let me make sure I got my screen right. Oop. I don't want to lose you. No, don't make me lose you. Okay. So the first thing I want to do here. Now, I've got a choice. Now, I can do this card this way, which is probably what I'm going to do. Because I want this blue band across here. So I'm going to cut this out and... I am just gonna cut it just like that. Um, this is the Anna Griffin uh, Pretty Papers Six by Six cardstock sheets 
and it I had it was a kit that I got. Uh, it, we got tags and all kinds of stuff on it, and it was really pretty, and uh, really really pretty. Just loved it. Had to have it. I'm still scrapping with it. Okay, so I wanted this uh, piece of blue here. Yeah, I have to make sure what. Sometimes these papers get make you get make you go lupe. Okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is just fold this over like so. Make sure it's taut like that. Make sure that's what I want, which is what I want. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do? Get my mega runner. Okay, fold her down. All right, the next, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to fold it over. Make sure that we like what we like. Okay, now before I fold it, yes ma'am, we're going to lock it down. Come on. I love runners, but then I have a love-hate relationship with them. Seriously, I have had every runner you could possibly think of. Runners don't like me. Okay, so I'm going to fold this just gently, gently, gently. Now. There we go. Looks straight to me. Okay. Can y'all see all this? I'm pretty sure you can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, there we go. <clears throat> Hold on. I need some drink. Okay. That didn't help a damn thing. Okay. So, now <laughs> what you want to do you want to figure out how you want to put your photo. I love this photo. As you can see, I just brought out the blue hues uh, from the photo. And the pink brings out the pink hues, of course. And then you have your uh, cream color hues. Now, in this paper collection uh, that I have here, this, of course, is with Prima. Um, there is a piece... That is absolutely beautiful to me. I love the script work on this one. But what I love, I love the script work. And I also love a touch of this dark uh, rose color. And I know it might be scary on this card. But look. It makes that color there pop beautiful. Let me raise, my, raise it up. Can you see that? How that darkness in them roses pop next to that? That is what you want. You want to be able to pop it up out of the, just, you know, pop it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what it looks like. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use this. I'm not going to say I'm going to use this. I'm just not sure because I am not... You don't have to be uh, perfect and with everything. I want, you know, you can be different with your cards. Everything doesn't have to be matchy, 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 matchy. Because I'm not matchy, matchy, matchy. So, all right. So, I'm just going to. There we go. I can scale this down. Whatever I want. Okay. Oh, always take these little things off or it won't work in your cutter. But keep them though. They're kind of cool. So. Didn't go all the way down. 
There we go. All right. I know. I cut unconventionally. Sorry about that, but that's just the way I am. Okay, now see how it makes it pop. Not only does it make the blue, the red pop on here, it makes it pop on there. Now I am going to use a contrasting color on the background here. So I'm going to pull out um, a dark, let's see, what do I have here? Ooh, yeah. Now watch this. Add a touch of gold. This is from, uh, now see, look there. Now you're starting to build the build the colors up and everything. I really want this picture to pop, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there. Come on! I loved being a design team member for Zaron. That was such a wonderful company. I just love it. Still is a wonderful company. I miss designing for them. But we have to make our mark and let new ones fly in. Okay. So now let's get this. Matted here. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I'm leaving my cutter out. Now you can go on. Here. And pick out which way it would look best. Now you've got. It really doesn't matter because you're going to be. Um, in fact. I might just do it. Can't do it that way. But I sure. I don't know. I'll tell you what. Got an idea. Why don't okay we got this? There we go. We can make it I can scale it down a little bit. We can make it just a a background piece. Which will be fun for me. I like that. Seeing so you that too, but no one I dropped that. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so <clears throat> now we got a touch of that. We got a touch of shabby with boldness. Like that. Just be different. Okay, now this right here. I've had this idea when I first started uh, looking at my card. I first started looking at my card. I was like, I want to do this idea. So, uh, um, now the idea is to have this look like an anchor. Like, see how you cut the 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 lace, and it looks like it's gonna hold it like that. Of course, you're gonna have to cut this down you know I might not use that piece of paper it might turn out to be too much or it might not just look right but I did get it prepared and you know if it works it works if it don't it don't no fuss to me but that's what you do you just play with color and pattern and um, and everything so okay there's that one with that little flourish and then here's this one now this is from creating with detail store and we're going to cut those right there okay Trim this up just a little bit. Now it comes like this, and a lot you get one yard. Comes like that. You're just gonna, you're just gonna. <clears throat> excuse me. You're just gonna. Um, 
buy it by the yard. Now see, let's see if this looks good without that piece in the back. I might just leave it and use a piece of lace. I don't know yet. I don't know. Okay, see how beautiful that is? And see what then you got these little flourishes here. You can take these. And you can put them like right in there at the point. If you want, you don't have to. There we go. Put them right there at the point. See, I still think it needs something. I think it needs a pop of color. Let's see. I don't know. Do I even need those? See, this is the fun part. You just sit here and you play and you try to figure out what it is you're wanting to do. Now, I also pulled some of this out. This is from pre and Details. Ooh, that's pretty too. Maybe, hold on. Maybe, 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 baby. Uh, if I wrap this around like that, oh, then you have these little boogers there. Uh, We'll do a touch, wait a minute, what if I do a touch of that, this is a one piece that, that's really funny, look at that, so pretty, and then put that on top of there, now we're shaggying it up, then use that, I'm going to have to mount mat this into another color it's probably what's throwing me off okay so we're going to mat this in another color let's mat it in i wonder how this would look would that make it pop or is that just too See, it really makes some roses pop. That's too much. That's too much. Oh, Lord, the decision. Decision, decision. Ooh. I'll just use the label, the labeling here, the bird, don't ask me why, or I go over here with the butterfly, ooh yeah, see that's what I love about Prima, you can even use their packaging, let's try this, nope, I like it over here, the bird, it's like you got some script, okay, isn't that cool? I always keep Prima's packaging. Because you can find the perfect stuff to put with it. The bird's the word. There we go. The bird. Okay. Then we're going to go. Ok, 
Okay. Now, I'm going to trim. Oh, where did my screen go? Hello. Okay, there we go. Trim that little bit off. Then I'm going to trim. This little bit off. And I'm going to trim just a hair off of here. Okay. There we go. Now I like that. Isn't that pretty? Is that off or is that me? Okay, it's gonna bug me till I figure it out. Sorry. I like the fact that this stuff is repositionable. Okay, now I've got to fix that right there. I had it off just a hair enough to bug the heck out of me. Sorry. Okay, oh yeah, that's what it needed. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so now the question is, um, do or don't the lace here. I think we should. So what I'm going to do is get my semi-sharp scissor. Now I am going to cut this tool off here because it's it's just too much so I just don't want it okay so remove this all right <clears throat> we're going to lay this down first and I am going to use a touch of hot glue um, just to secure it down Because lace and um, runners don't work. Use a liquid glue or hot glue. Well, that's what you use. So now I'm going to flip this over. And just kind of lightly put a little bit of glue. Flip that over like so. Do the same thing here. Flip this over. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. This is also, like I said, a trim from the store. And I want to use it. In here so we're gonna snip it up just snip off a little bit more than what you need just in case you need to um, stretch it or not stretch it or move it uh, you, you know it's better to have a little too much than not enough Again, you're going to tack that down with some hot glue, like that. There you go. Okay, 
again, bring that around. And this will be pop dotted onto the card because there's a lot of uh, three dimensional elements on here and it will just help the card look uh, better. There we go. Now, let's see what this looks like so far. Very pretty. I think I might have to put some lace across the top there. And I'm going to use that same white lace across the top, except it's going to go this way. Like that. There we go. <clears throat> very different card. I like it. It's very pretty, very elegant, very dainty. Okay, so I'm just gonna run a bead of glue right along the edge there. Very, very small amount. And just press, press, press. And yes, I am going to tack these little boogers down. They don't want to flopping. There we go. There we go. And on this one, it's going to be a little tricky. Put a little bit of glue on the side there and push that down right there. There we go. Then I'm going to wrap this around. Like that. Do your little piece first and then wrap it around. Like that. Do your little piece and then wrap it around. Like that. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> sure, I don't have nothing on there. All right, and then we're going to pop dot this one. Then we're going to do some flowers and um, possibly this little lace steel thing here, which, ooh, idea. See, I'm all about that lace. All about that lace. That lace. Nope, that'll hide it. Unless. Ooh, no, look here. You can take these and make them corners. Nice. Might be for a future project. This is not going to work on this one. Okay, so now get your pop dots. I don't know too bad. Three minutes. Okay, get your pop dots. Your pop dots. Uh-uh. No, Odin. No. Odin. You listen about as much as a two-year-old. Now I'm using uh, pop dots or pop strips. I want my cards to pop. <laughs> A rule of thumb uh, when using pop 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 pop. Can we get it out? Uh, pop dots or pop strips or whatever. If you think you're going to slip something, like if you lay this down and you have you have a maybe an inkling to slip something underneath there like that, make sure your pop dot is. A, about a half an inch away from the edge unless you don't plan on doing that. 
Um, you really you don't want your pop dots to be seen or anything. So that has to be in consideration as well. Why is it? I swear my screen goes to sleep on me all the time. Okay, so now all we're going to do is remove the backing of these. There we go. Okay. And then we're going, whoop. Yep. Okay. Had to make sure there for a minute. Then we're just going to lay that down. Now everything looks, see, it looks positionable. And then you're going to pop dot the picture as well. Now you can put it to the side like this, or you can put it over to the corner like this, which is what I'm going to do because I'm going to put some flower work over here. So I'm going to put it over, push it over that way. So, uh, Odin! Odin! Hang on, I gotta get him out of here. Odin, get out of here right now. Okay, sorry. I don't let my cats in here. Again, you're just gonna pop dot it like that. And peel away. Make sure you don't have any. Okay. So now I'm going to put it like that. Now it's pop dotted on there. See beautiful. See the, the layers. I love pop dot. I love Papa Dots. Okay, let me get something to drink here. Okay. I might can go back to this. I don't know. Uh, but it will cover up some of that. But I'm going to be doing some flowers too. So. But it covers up the word the. Maybe I can use these in the. Anyway, get that lace because you can do a lot with it as I showed you different ways you can do stuff. I would definitely get that lace. <coughs> okay, now this is where it's going to be fun. Now, I got these daisies, uh, like I said, from Model of Crafts. And uh, I thought, look at that. It just has that perfect color in there, a good pretty color. I might use one of these. I also pulled out... Um, some pink daisies and uh, this was some ribbon that was um, in one of the kits that May had. Also I've got some pearl here, I've uh, got some white flower here. I keep all kinds of stuff here just on my desk because I'm always using it. Also, oh, look at that. I'd love to use one of these on there. If this thing was smaller, holy smokes, look at that. Ooh, man. Hold on, y'all. May's got some beautiful bling, let me tell you. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks good. Oop. Look at that. There's a cloth there. Oop. Look at that one. The possibilities, ladies. The possibilities. Okay. Let's see what I want to do. This is absolutely stunningly gorgeous, just like that. Or 
Ooh, that one bends. But I can put it there, like that maybe. Oh, I gotta have this bling. Oh, I gotta have the bling, I gotta have the bling. Ooh, I can put it. Now let's see. Or maybe if I put it down like that. And then add some of these yummy flavios. Gosh, they're so beautiful. Okay. See, I got a big one. Oops, sorry. I got a big one here. Ooh, no, 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 no. Here's some pink daisies. See, I play, I play around uh, with different things because um, I don't ever come into a project knowing exactly what I want to do. And some people find that annoying, but that's just me. I, you know, sorry. That's just what I do because I don't know because art is never a constant art is never constant Let's see. well I can't quite put it maybe I love these little rosebuds these are like super cute Super cute. Let's see. Try and get them to starting to look like something. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I got these little things. Remember from the, from the, put one there. Then we can put one here. Okay. All right. First piece going down, ladies. Going down, going down. What's with the glue gun? Oh, I cut my glue gun off. Shoot. Go ahead and wait a minute. So we're going to do this right there. And this right there, see how it butts up against there beautifully. So we're going to work within that corner there. We're going to add a little daisy. Little daisy. Then we're going to add some roses. Then we're going to add a cute, a couple of these cute little baby leaves. I picked out, what are those little baby leaves though? Oh. Hold on, y'all. Yep. Here we go. They're right here. These are also from Wild Orchid Crafts, or item number MKX-249. You get a hundred of the two-tone light green, which I think is pretty. So, we'll pull few of these out. You never know how many of my need. So I think my glue gun's ready. So the first thing I'm going to attempt to glue here is this piece because I want it on there. I just want this piece of bling on here. This bling is absolutely 
just stunningly gorgeous. Oh, and I have the other half I can do something with. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we'll put this right here. I'm going to put this right here. Like a soul, like a soul, like a soul. Okay, I want to put this pretty daisy on here because I just think it needs it. I just, it's a different, it's different from roses and it's just pretty. I just like it. Now you're probably going to ask me that $50 question. Uh, these are chrysanthemums, not daisies, but chrysanthemums mixture QVR076. That's QVR076. Now, I don't want to cover the word, the bird, so I'm going to bend this up a little bit like that. Add a little hot glue to the little rose buds here. Have them cascading down. Then I'm going to put... A leaf in there like that. I like these little leaves. So you can take them and kind of cascade them down from one another, kind of like that. Then make your own little leaf bunch right there. Then you can glue them in behind here like that and see I have this really pretty um, uh, what shit what is it called fabric 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 flower <laughs> brain fart <laughs> Probably because I've been sneezing all day. Isn't it pretty? It's turning out so pretty. I think I'm going to put two more, two more of these on this side. And yes, I think I got a bird. Because I was thinking about that. I was like, now right here, what you can do is you see there, I have these, I cascade them like that twist it around and then what you can do with these is you can get you like a little something here and you can wrap this around like that and uh, pull it off and make you like a little spriggly so you just take it, grab it, twist it around, like that. Then you can bring them up like that, bring it up like that. Then you can glue it. Hope you're all seeing this. You can glue it right in behind there like that. Oh. They're beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, uh, what did I do with my, uh, did I write that? Here we go. Let's see if I got a bird. Ooh, I got this cute little bird. I have this cute little bird. Too bad it ain't like that. But it can be because I can paint it white. Yep. That's all what I'm going to do. And then you go by Prima as well. These little, oh, I do have these though. These little resin birds. Like that. I have these little bitty resin birds. But I think I like the, I like that. 
Okay, so basically what we're going to do, uh, rather quickly, is we're going to get out our gesso. And this is just a heavy white gesso by Prima. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger here. And really just to it up. Like that. Then I'm going to show you something else I'm going to do. You're going to love it. Yes, 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 yes. You are. I sh I have uh, showed you this stuff before. Uh, but it is my favorite. Let me go get it. So while that's drying a little bit. I have showed you this stuff before. And y'all need to get it. Is Stamp Pendus's Vintage Embossing Powder Kit. I've showed you all a link before, but I'll link it again in the description box. Oh my gosh. If you ever want to, oh, just wait till you see the result. Okay? This stuff, I, in fact, am going to buy another set of it. So I know I've got enough of it. So I'm going to show you all where you can get it to order it. Okay. Now we're going to heat gun that real quick because we're going to be using our heat gun um, with this. So, okay, there we go. Just tap it. And I know some people are like, well, you need to be prepared. You needed this, you needed that. Well, this is my show. This is my channel. I'm never prepared because I'm always changing. I'm like, I told you, I'll come in here with a, an idea and then it'll change on me. Okay, so this is the Embossic Dauber. Ranger was so smart when they done this. This is the Embossing Dauber. You need to apply this to any project you have that you want to emboss. Now they have embossing pads, embossing stamps, but this is the Embossing Dauber and it smells like dancing cinnamon bubblegum. I crap you not. Order it and it smells like cinnamon I don't know if they did that intentionally or what, but the dauber gets, puts on a wonderful, generous amount onto your project, as you saw there. And in this little kit here, you get aged silver, shabby blue, shabby pink, shabby white, and aged gold. So, with this one here, I am going to do the shabby white. So, you're going to, I would in, get out of here now. Go. So, you're going to want to shake this up really well because it's got glitter and other little goodies in there. And then you're just going to sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And it looks like it's real grainy looking, and I'll show you. See how it's like real grainy looking? Okay. So now what we're going to do, just take your scissor there. Tap that off like that. Yes, you're going to put this right back in there before you do anything. There we go. Odin, oh, I'm telling you, they get here and they'll find like a piece of lace or something I have not, I don't, I have not seen, and then they'll take off with it. Dang it. Okay, so now you're just going to emboss, and you're going to see the magic, baby.
we're gonna see the blackest. What are y'all two doing? You're not even, both of y'all are in here now. Okay, let it cool. Then I'm gonna show you exactly what this beautiful, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that stuff. I love it. It's just the perfect shabby shiki. And this again, I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can order this. Um, but yeah, vintage embossing powder set by Stamp Pendis. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the card. And this is our final piece. And this will be the end of the project. Um, so we're just going to glue this down with hot glue. So if you have any questions about any of the projects, project or products I've used in this one let me know like share and subscribe to my channel um, give me a thumbs up if you like this project because um, I know I do turned out really pretty I'll scoot that over there just a little bit so it's not hiding the V in fact I'm gonna I'm gonna put another leaf there um, like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your crafty peeps about my channel. Because I'm always doing something on here. Um, got a lot of uh, product reviews to do. Got a lot of uh, few um, cosmetic companies send me some stuff. Right out of the blue. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to put one right here. Um, to share with y'all. And everything. And I've got a new set of DGs coming out. You're going to love those. So I've been really working. So remember, you can get your bling and your laces all at creatingwithdetailstore.com. You can get the photo over on my blog at www.angelholtzdesigns.com. The Prima paper, if you happen to see it, you can look up on it. Um, it is from the, uh, the paper uses the Garden Fable Collection. That's the ones I used. And, of course, this picture is beautiful, both small and large. Just imagine what you can do with a big-ass piece of bling like that. And this photo, and, oh, my gosh, on a box, on the front of a book. Uh, yes. And then right here, if you wanted, which I'm going to do, because I am just like that. Oh, yes, it is. Um... May has got assorted pearls, so I'm going to use them. Uh, you get this little container. You get two mixed uh, things, and then you get two 8 millimeter, two 10 millimeter, and two 12 millimeter. So I'm just going to pull from the mix here and just kind of see what I can dig out, you know, from here. Um, so... I'm going to put a, a big one there, and then a little one, and a little one there. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. See? <laughs> They're perfect. Uh, again, uh, let me know if y'all have any questions or anything. Stay for photos of this card please and you see all the wonderful details in this card that i've done again um i apologize if this is a lengthy project but i don't go into most projects knowing what i'm doing what i'm going to do i have a general idea but again it always changes so there you go beautiful just stunning look at that just love the bling i love the bling and ready for your sentiment. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, again, thank you all for watching. Be sure to snag this uh, this uh, free digi for the week. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, and um, if you do something with this digi uh, image, tag me in it. 
uh, tag me on Facebook, tag me in your blog post. You can tag me by using hashtag Angela H Designs or Angela Holt Designs. Use hashtag or the asterisk. It doesn't matter if I, I will get notification that I have been tagged in something. So if you do a blog post, a Facebook post, an Instagram, whatever, and you use this image, tag me in it. I'll be more than happy to, uh, uh, look at it and give you the snaps and also, um, the more tags I get and the more people that use my DGs, the more chances people get to win an entire DG collection for me. So, um, it's good to create and tag. So, again, thank you all. Love you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.